Welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. This is the Arsenal Chelsea Preview Part 1. Uh, I'm Jack and I'm joined again by the lovely Sophia. Sophia, say hello. Hello, I'm Sophia Stefano and I'm delighted to be sat alongside Jack to discuss all things Chelsea ahead of the big game this Sunday away to Arsenal. Yes, so Sophia, let's get straight to it. Um, Arsenal, you know, in the, in the past they've been a team that we've, we've had a lot of success out of. Uh, I think, yeah. you know, we've, they haven't beaten us in the last eight Premier League meetings. Yeah, that's true. And I don't think they've scored um, in the last five uh, Premier League meetings. I think you're very so, much spot on there. I know, I know a little stat over here. <laughs> yeah. but, um, but I think obviously something we need to discuss is the woeful defensive display against Everton. Yeah. Um, you know, again, we've conceded five goals now in the last two games, which is poor by it's any stretch of the yeah, imagination uh, yeah, uh, but the positives that. obviously we need to take from that I think was the fighting spirit a massive big up to the Chelsea fans they were yeah. incredible I think they were the 12th, Tw 12th man. man at the bridge yeah 100% um, even you know the captain John Terry's come out and said yeah. you know if it wasn't you know we were 2 nil down he looked around all the Chelsea fans were on their feet you know we spurred we you guys spurred yeah. them on yeah. and um, yeah and I think that's the positive is the fighting spirit that we need to now take in on Sunday as well as massively working on the uh, obviously the defensive display. Well this is it I mean to go two, two, to go two goals down at home to Everton in the Premier League it's just not good enough is it? No. However like you say we're not going to dwell on that too much no. longer um, we did on show a lot a lot of fighting spirit to get ourselves out of that pickle um, thanks very much John Terry captain leader legend 98th you know, minute lovely little bag on, on a little well. uh, you know bag of goal at both ends on your 700th game and could Why we not? care if it was offside absolutely not absolutely not so Sophia Arsenal how are you feeling you, you excited you nervous you positive you negative talk me through your emotions um, Unfortunately, obviously this season I haven't gone into any game with any major positivity. Um, <laughs> but like I said, and we've just discussed, uh, the fighting spirit which we have been severely lacking was a huge positive, um, I think we can take from that game going into Sunday. Uh, yeah. Another big boost for us is Hazard was seen training on Wednesday. Yes, so I he could be back in contention, we, we're hearing, aren't we, for yeah, Sunday's fixture. Yeah, so fingers crossed he's back. I think that will make a big difference to yeah. us. Fingers crossed Costa's injury is only just bruising and hopefully he'll be rested up for Sunday. Um, yeah. It's a tough one. Arsenal, you know, they're top of the league. They back to being top of the league after the hard-earned point away to Stoke. Yeah. Um, they are flying, obviously. They're 19 points clear of us at the moment. They haven't been this far ahead of us in the league for 22 years. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. So, um, wow. It's that's disappointing to say the least. So, we have got to start closing this gap. Yes. I think um, although this has been one of them seasons where we've just, you know, we've we, we've bent over and and died in front of, you know, inferior opposition. Mm -hmm. I do feel, you know, Chelsea even in this current team but as a club like us our history we do tend to pull it out the bag when the when the big the uh, when big the games big games come along right? said, we've, against we our rivals good, we've got a good record at, at the Emirates and that's something we need to definitely um, utilize and embark on yeah um, they've drawn their last two if yeah you was that Stoke Liverpool yeah if you want to so. slightly draw on the fact that you know they're not off the back of two wins I mean <laughs> so really just scrape from the barrel yeah, here with, bit, yeah. with positivities here <laughs> um, but and, um, so we're gonna we're gonna be up against our old friend Czech uh, yeah. and I, I, I strongly horrible, strongly horrible believe for that us to see him in an you know shirt. Arsenal top of the league a lot of that. Massively, a is down lot to, of that is down to him. Like, if you saw the game, uh, the, yeah, the game against Stoke, their last game, and I was watching it on Match of the Day, and it brought a tear to the old glass eye, really, because I was seeing him pulling off saves yeah. in an Arsenal shirt that I'd spent a decade. Do you know what I said? This, I, said this, I said this analogy to someone when I first saw him in an Arsenal shirt. It's like seeing your ex-boyfriend get married. Yeah. It's heartbreaking. Well. Oh, not for you, for me. <laughs> um, it's it's just it's wrong on all levels, but it's happened. Yeah. Um, you and know, we've got to move on. Exactly. And, and John Terry did say that by Arsenal, um, by Czech going to Arsenal, we automatically give them 12 points. Well, well, it kind of we're, we're seeing we're seeing that. Clear. Yeah, we're seeing that in real life now, aren't we? I think Arsenal. You know, as much as we want to be gung ho and, and pro pro Chelsea, which obviously Chelsea fans channel, we're always going to be. 
um, you know, we, we can't we can't give them uh, too much disrespect. You know, no, I think no, you can't. Sanchez, credit credit's due. Uh, Sanchez is coming back, I hear, and more and importantly, Ozil. Ozil. You know, yeah. this guy is setting up, you They've know, goals boost. left, right and centre. He's he's really become the player, I think, that Arsenal thought they were signing mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. Yeah. He's, he's really come into his own. He's, he's taken the Premier League in his stride now. I don't think he's, you know, maybe there were question marks over him being a bit fragile or, you know, a bit of a, uh, you know, a bit scared to get stuck into the hustle and bustle of Premier League football. But this season, uh, I've been really, really impressed with him. And I think it's going to be 100%. key that we win our midfield battles. Yeah, definitely, which obviously uh, leads us on to uh, team selection, but I want a quick prediction from you, score-wise. Okay. Predictions, um, I'm going to go for a hard-fought 2-1 win to Chelsea. Come on, the Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea. What about you? I, do you know what? Put your I, money where I, your I, mouth I, is, I, and it better be a win. <laughs> I'm not taking no, a draw or a, or a defeat on this one. Really, because my initial reaction was one all Chelsea, Arsenal, obviously. But um, come on, two one Chelsea. Two I'm one Chelsea. You, on you having it? Yeah, definitely. Right. Why we're not? Off, we're off down the bookies to put our money <laughs> on it. Uh, you do the same. Leave uh, leave your score predictions in the comments below, uh, and don't forget to join uh, join us for part two of the Arsenal Chelsea preview when Sophia and I pick our starting eleven. Come on, you Blues. Welcome to Backpage Blues. I'm joined by Charlie the Hurricane Skillen from the Mail Online. How are you, Raw? Yeah, very well, thank you. Fine. And I have some good news for you. Charlie will be back in the studio tomorrow. We're going to have an extra long version of Backpage Blues. We're going to be joined by a few people.